that Europa League spot. I can just hear it calling my name. And oh my days, no. I'm not arguing, guys. It is a penalty. Oh, look at this space, though. Oh my days. He gets a red. Oh man, okay, I've just made it harder for myself. What is going on, people of YouTube? It is Johnny here or otherwise known as JK22 back here once again to deliver the goods another episode in the Nottingham Forest career mode series and this week boys and girls we are getting back to the FIFA grind there are 10 matches left in our first Premier League season and we're gonna have three videos coming out this week sorry that wasn't very good placement there three videos coming out to basically cap off this season we'll have monday which is the one you're probably watching now it was released on monday we'll have another one out on wednesday at 5 p.m another one out on friday at 5 p.m so hope you guys are buzzing i am really buzzing to see how this season is gonna pan out because let's just take a look at some of the facts right here we're currently 10th position in the league 37 points in the bag we're actually only 10 points off Chelsea who are in fifth we're only seven points off Leicester City in sixth which is of course a potential Europa League spot so why don't we just dare to dream you know we'd be absolutely buzzing if we were able to make the Europa League spots that would be undeniable anyway and we're pretty well clear of the relegation zone so don't need to worry about that too much but we do have a couple of huge games coming up in this episode it is gonna be the arsenal followed by chelsea and then newcastle united as well is not gonna be an easy game but we're gonna give it our all aren't we and we're gonna go into this game at the city ground in front of our home fans and up against a gunner's side that is not looking as strong as it does in real life at this very second but it's still nevertheless a good team when you have Odegaard and Saka. We've got to think a bit about our selection for this game. Now we've got Mariba in midfield, he's sort of a more big body box to box type whereas Morgan Gibbs White is a bit more skilled, skilled. he's a bit more skilled a bit more pacey, can play through the lines a bit better. If you if you match them up against Gwenduzi, Odegaard and Canales, I think, you know, maybe for this match, this is one where uh, Gibbs White could really come to the fore. And yeah, other than that, we're of course going to play our strongest team with that man, Awaniyi, up top, who I believe has not scored since we signed him in the Jan transfer window. So let's just get this match underway. Let's get three more points on the board and get this end of season run in going. Ooh, Saka, Starboy Saka, with some really good skills there. And oh my days, no. Oh, I'm not arguing guys, it is a penalty, but it's just not what I meant to happen. I mean, I wanted the goalkeeper to sort of dive at the feet of the player. But it ended up with Brandon Williams doing a really strange slide tackle. But all hope is not lost. Lost, Sorry, we could save it. We could save it or not. I think even if I go the right way, you know, that's going in. That's going in 10 out of 10 times. Good start by Arsenal. Um... I'm a bit like lost for words. This has all happened so quickly. That's has that hit the crossbar? Just no. This is not a crossbar challenge, mate. It's just a penalty. It's just a. Oh, we're not saving that. We're not saving that. Best thing is just to move on and focus on future chances. Oh, we get it through to Awanyi. Into Gibbs White we go. Come on, someone make an intelligent run, please. Oh, Gibbs White will just keep going. He'll just keep going. And he'll shoot. Very wide of the mark. Good, powerful run, though. I was surprised. I was expecting him to get, you know, shoved off the ball. He's not the strongest man in our team, but fair play to him. Fair play to him. Good signs. Good signs for us. We're going to have to play our way around Mikel Arteta's press. Oh, and that's an 
Oh, awful pass. Awful pass. Luckily, we are saved by the bell. The ref calls time on this first half and it is a half to forget. So we're going for a bit of a defensive tweak in this second half. We're going to change formation to the 4-2-3-1 narrow and we're going to bring Mariba, who has better defending stats but also is a bit more of a physical presence, to sit in front of our defence beside Ryan Yates. And then Gibbs White will have a bit more of an advanced role with Johnson and Talbot either side. Hopefully, I'm, I am hoping this is going to give us a bit more stability and structure in the middle of the park because, honestly, we were just all over it in that first half. Just nowhere. But never mind. And having just spoken about a lack of structure in midfield, it does not look like our formation change has done much to change it. Williams oh, takes the shot. It was a little bit scuffed. Samba still had to make the save though, but I would expect him to do so. A little bit of curl on that ball. It goes behind for a corner and we're under pressure once again. Good ball through to Johnson. For some reason though, Awonyi is not in the middle. Oh, look at this space though. Oh my days. Arsenal. Where is your defence? Like, I'm angry and I'm the one who's just scored a goal. What is this? That was just too easy. It can't be. I just literally ran through their defence like it was a flipping Sunday morning brunch. What is this? And Ramsdale should be saving that on his near post. Oh, man. Oh, man. We don't deserve it. But we've got it. We've got to take it. 1-1. One, one. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, Arsenal. You did not deserve that. Here we go. Arsenal, they're angry. They want to get back at us. Erdegaard gets a corner for Arsenal. I think our two changes are coming now as well. Awonyi and Talbot, two men who have been unusually quiet in this game, are going to be replaced by Rodgers and Kaiki. Come on, boys. Come on, the boys. We can do this. Let's have some belief. Come on, it's 1-1. It's all square now. Everything to play for. Canales, of course, that penalty scorer for Arsenal. In the first half, Guendouzi unleashes one. Samba makes a save. I'm a little disappointed he didn't catch that. But what can you do? What can you do? We just have to keep smiling. Come on, get this away. Get this. Oh, you could have kicked that Gibbs White. Why did you need to head it? Could have got a much better clearance. But OK, OK, OK. Just defend. Defend. Come on, Tavares. Defend with your life, my boy. And that is not a penalty. I was a bit worried there for a second, but we've got away with it. They are just backing off. Okay. Well, Gibbs White will just keep going then. He can take a shot. At... What is this? This is a farce. How? How have I just... Did you guys see that? I need to check, like, what is going on. Once again, this is Arsenal against Forest. Remember that. Arsenal just backed off. They just backed off like we were flipping Man City and Holland was running at them or something. But it wasn't. It was Morgan Gibbs White. And he scores on the angle. Aaron Ramsdale has a shocker again. Mate, how are we winning this game? This is absolutely glorious. The best form of defence attack. But anyway, anyway, oh, Martinelli gets around Jed Spence. Williams, oh my word, it hits the crossbar. Outrageous outrageous. Arsenal obviously reverting to that tactic again because of course the first goal of the penalty came in off the crossbar but it's the other side of the crossbar which comes into use this time. Come on, come on, just defend it. Just, I'm saying it like it's simple but just defend it. Literally, oh is that an off, that's, that looked offside, sorry. That looked offside. Oh my, just get something on this. Get it away. Oh, Arsenal still have the ball. Williams is there. Oh, Spence, you beauty. Okay, now I'll just pass it out. Pass it out. Oh, and send it long. Send it long, Kaiki. Oh, and that's actually going to be a beautiful ball for Morgan Rogers. Come on, power. I want to see some power. Oh, let's go. Cross it. Oh, that's a ball. That's a ball. How has Gibbs White not got his head on that? It doesn't even matter because we take the three points and we absolutely rip Arsenal off. I am so sorry, Mikel Arteta. But you know what? The Forest, they just have something about them, don't they? They just steal points 
when they don't even deserve it. And that, that is a win, my friends. Uh, did you ever feel like this wasn't going to be your day? Um, it clearly was our day because we played absolute trash and we won the game. Oh, it doesn't get better than that. It doesn't get better than that. I feel so guilty yet so alive at the same time. Oh man, this is, this is bonkers, mate. Absolute bizarro. Next up, it's a big one, probably even bigger. Maybe not on this season's evidence, but you know, generally it's probably a bigger match. It's against Chelsea. Champions League winners just a couple years ago. Imagine the scenes at Stamford Bridge. The scenes <clears throat> at the away end, sorry, if we get the victory. Can you steer clear of the drop? Now, I don't want to be complacent, boys and girls, but I think we're doing a pretty good job of that. Okay, here we go. Team selection has been confirmed. We have taken account of the fact that Chelsea have gone for a five, most probably three at the back formation. So I thought we would match them up quite nicely, which means Panzo gets an opportunity to come into the team. Williams and Spence can both double up as wing backs. Then we've got a real powerhouse midfield, I must say, of Mariba, Yates, Jewsbury Hall. I'm just, I want them to dominate that midfield against Kante and Munien. Munien. And yeah, Rogers and Awonyi start up top together. It's unusual that both of them start together, but I feel like in this formation, that is our best opportunity. So let's go, let's get to the bridge, let's get the whistle blown, and let's do our best. That's all you can do, right? That is a nice view. It's a good stadium, Stamford Bridge. I mean, it maybe isn't big enough for the size of football club that Chelsea is, but it's still, it's a very, picturesque stadium it's it's very aesthetically pleasing so i'll give them respect for that but you know had enough of the uh the admiration of the stadium now let's just get in to this match bonucci starting for chelsea i didn't even notice that on the uh the pre-match screen come on let's find some good space here oh yates oh he'll just charge through the middle oh he could score he could score and he does once again, maybe it's just ran. I always play on legendary, but maybe it's just randomly switched to a lower difficulty. But that's just too easy, man. Like, why is there a huge gaping hole in their defense? It's just not right. I actually feel bad. I feel bad because we shouldn't be scoring goals like that. Should not. Oh, that was a dodgy tackle by Brandon Williams, he gets a red. Oh man, okay, I've just made it harder for myself. Brandon Williams, I mean, oh, that's a bit harsh, ref, that's a bit harsh. Okay, well, gonna have to make a substitution. One of our strikers is gonna have to be sacrificed and it's probably gonna have to be Morgan Rogers, but it's like, we don't even have any fullbacks on the bench. Oh, we could, I guess we could bring Varela on. He's probably our best option. And he doesn't even go down in ratings. So that's not a terrible idea, but still. Still, still, still. Oh, we're 1-0 up, but down to 10 men. This could be a long match. Oh, Mariba could be in. The pass is too heavy, though. Too heavy. Oh, we could intercept this as well. Oh, yes, we do in the end. Jewsbury Hall. He's on it. He's on it like a car bonnet. And he takes the shot. He unleashes it. I was thinking, is that Aretha Bala getting goal? Was looking a bit too casual there. But obviously, got to give him the benefit of the doubt. He knew it was going wide. It was pretty close, though. Pretty close. But we missed the chance to double our lead. Oh, a one he's in. A one he scores. I think that's his first goal in a Nottingham Forest shirt. For us, anyway. Oh, ridiculous, man. He doesn't want to celebrate because maybe it's because it's just taken him too long to score by his high standards. But I'm so happy for him because he's such a good player. He's so strong. He's got really good shooting power. He holds up the ball really well. So he deserves that goal. I'm really happy for him. Really, really happy. His breakthrough season in the Premier League. He's finally on the board. But hopefully, you know, the first of many. Oh, man. If that's another red. Oh, it's a yellow. 
It's a yellow. What is wrong with me? I am so trigger happy with this flipping tackle button. What is wrong? That was just so unnecessary as well. He had no support. He wasn't going to score. <sighs> that is a lucky one. Talking of of lucky. Really? That didn't that was a poor segue from me, but we're making changes anyway. Two Changes, two young players coming on, Maiten and Kaiki both making it onto the pitch. Marcus Alonso misses from the free kick in the meantime. And wow, that is Chelsea's proper first chance of the game. Just flailing over the bar. Not enough, not enough. To be 2-0 up at Chelsea at this point, like we don't even have to be too serious. We can just take some worldy shots, have a go. There's like no pressure, literally. Here we go, Kaiki. Take it on! Oh, again. It's not perfect, but Kepa has to make the save. Oh, that's a poor pass. Oh, that is a lapse in concentration, that. I'm... Oh, that's disappointing. That is disappointing. Samba has to make the save. Man, I need to wake up. Not be complacent. I have just gifted, with a nice, beautiful bow, a present of huge potential to Chelsea and luckily we have a goalkeeper who's sharp but man come on I'm, I'm vexed at myself that is just that is just borderline arrogant what I just did not on not on and we've got to oh, win the second ball Chelsea they are flooding the players forward Marcus Alonso wants to take it wide oh we hold on to it okay oh we give it away again once again, poor concentration. Oh, luckily. Chelsea, they're just just—they're just not good today. Oh, Lukaku's on. Oh, and he scores. Oh, man. Once again, Chelsea, where have they been all game? Why are they scoring in the 85th minute? Why is Lukaku not starting the match? I mean, I know in real life he struggled. But seriously, he's a quality player. One of the best strikers in the world. When he's on song, you just can't stop him. He's just so muscly, so powerful. And Samba doesn't have a chance. You know, pigs will fly before he saves that. Only five minutes left. We're going to have to keep the ball. Come on, this is a possession game now. And we're down to ten men. We haven't got lots of room for error right now. Come on, Chelsea. If I was one down right now, I'd not be sitting off. Let's go. Oh, we might as well attack at this point, because, I mean, Chelsea just doing nothing. Oh, ball in. In towards Mighton. Bit of a weak header, but we take the victory. Another 2-1 win against the top team. And to take the victory, to take the dubs when we are down to 10 men against Thomas Tuchel's Stamford Bridge Blues. Yeah, six out of six in two really tough games. We chuffed with that, you know. Oh yeah, actually, now that we think about it, Williams is suspended and it's, yeah, we're not gifted with loads of fullbacks for backup. So oh, it's gonna be interesting how we go about that next game against Newcastle, but we gotta do what we gotta do, don't we? Come on, I just wanna get this press conference over now. How tough a game was it? The boys at the back were fantastic, yeah, I guess. One of them had a red card, another one got a yellow card. I think Chelsea's sterile attack was more of the uh, problem, but you've got to boost the morale where you can. You really turn things around, did we? We were winning 2-0. Does that count as turn, turning things around? Yeah, okay. Whatever you say, mate. This is, like, what? I know I've been talking about it, but it says legendary. It's right there. I swear down, I have not changed it. What is going on? Those two matches were absolute, I don't know, lemons. Lemon squeezy, that's what they were. What is this, man? Are we just that good that we can just not play FIFA for two weeks and just stroll up and smash Chelsea and Arsenal with absolute ease? They, oh, it don't make sense, man. It don't make sense. But on the bright side, we do end up in ninth position, gaining a place in the table, which is always nice. We are now only seven points off Chelsea, six points off Wolves in sixth. That Europa League spot, I can just hear it calling my name. It's got JK22 written 
all over it. But I think actually this is the point where we're going to end this episode, guys. I think, how many now is it? Six games left? Eight games left. Eight games left in the season. So let's have a look. We have Newcastle, Brentford, United, Leicester, Villa, uh, Leeds, Everton, Norwich. Not a lot of easy games in that run-in. Luckily enough, I think we're safe from relegation at this point. So yeah. Yeah, we'll get into the next match next time, obviously. But until then, guys, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed this one. We just smashed Chelsea and Arsenal. Does it get better? Does it? No, it just doesn't. Anyway, guys, I'll see you around in the very next video.